welcome to the Hayley's Help YouTube channel. I'm Hayley Leach, like bleach, but spelt differently, and this is the home of Hayley's Help. On this channel, you will find things from homemaking to cleaning tutorials and product reviews with a sprinkling of fashion and beauty added in for good measure. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button because we would love to have you join. And for those of you that have already subscribed, just wanna say a gigantic Haley's help thank you. I love you guys. And with that, let's get into today's vlog. In today's vlog, we are gonna be doing the do's and don'ts of dusting. Blinds are among some of the trickiest things to clean and dust within our homes. This is due to the flexibility of the blinds, the small surface area that we need to clean on, and the fact that some of us just really don't know the do's and don'ts of blind cleaning. What is the blind cleaning etiquette in 2020? When it comes to removing dust from within our homes, whether that be on your blinds, on your floors, on your kickboards, it is invest in a hoover, vacuum with a HEPA filter. What this will do is it will trap the dust within the vacuum and it will not then expel the dust back out into the air. This is then going to make your house re-dusty and we don't want to do that. We want to trap those little suckers and we want to get rid of them. We want to dismiss the dust. So we are going to start with vacuuming the blinds to begin with and get off just the top layer of dust that is lurking on these. I'm going to use my dust attachment and all the dust will then go into my HEPA filtered vacuum cleaner. blinds just need a quick going over the best do when it comes to dusting is using an old pair of gloves the knitted type and just some multi-surface cleaner this is the pledge one and literally all you're going to do is spray some on your index finger and on your thumb this is going to give you the control that you need so that your blinds aren't bending all over the place. You can grip it tight enough so that you're getting a nice, good, deep clean. And you can have this done very quickly, especially if you use two gloves. So we're going to put some on the other hand as well. And the process will literally be pinching either side and then pulling like so and that is all you need to do and then once you've done this you can wash the gloves in a hot wash and you can reuse these again this is one of my absolute favorite hacks and it takes no time at all Dusters are adorable and they make a brilliant photo opportunity if you want to be just like Nicole Kidman in Stepford Housewives. However, they're pretty useless when it comes to getting rid of dust. What they actually do is they move the dust from one place to another, which means you're not actually eliminating the dust, you're just moving it to another part of your house. Next up, when it comes to dust, are our fans and our filters. So these can accumulate lots and lots of dust and they do need to have a clean. I'd say once every month is a good starting point. You can then assess it and if you're finding there's not much dust in them, you can adjust the time frame. It will be different for all of us, but once a month is a good starting point. Now. Once you've removed this, really, really simple, all you want to do is fill up your sink with some D3 
dish soap. This will cut through any grease and grime. This is particularly good if you're doing a kitchen vent, which is what I'm doing today. And use the antibacterial one. We're gonna fill this up with some antibacterial dish soap and we are gonna give this a good clean. Now, if I shake this, you might not be able to see it, but it is dusty. And what will happen is, you can certainly see it there, what will happen is this dust will then be, as soon as I switch the fan on, it will be blowing back all over my house. So we want to get rid of that and make sure that that is not a problem accumulating to our dust dilemmas. Okay, so once you have let it sit in your warm soapy water for a bit, you can then go ahead and use a brush like this one and just get into all the crevices. This is gonna remove any of the dust. And as it's going into the water, we're not gonna be putting it back up in the air. And this will make it dust free next time I turn on the air vent when I am doing the cooking. The next place we are going to tackle when it comes to dust and where dust tends to seek out is light fixtures and fittings. So I'm going to be tackling the kitchen light fixture today. This does get particularly dusty and we are going to be going in with a damp cloth. On this cloth there is the antibacterial washing up liquid. Again, because we are in the kitchen, you'll find that your light fixtures and fittings where you're using oils and cooking stuff, they get greasy. So this is the best thing to use. And where you are damp dusting, you're not running the risk of the dust flying everywhere. So this is why you should always go in with a damp duster or cloth rather than a dry cloth. Now I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and my furniture polish to just polish up the light fixture. Never spray this directly onto the light, always spray it onto the cloth first and then you can go ahead and polish it up so it looks nice and shiny and new and dust free again. Another hotspot where dust likes to settle is around picture frames and door frames. So to remove the dust from these, we are gonna be using a microfiber damp cloth. The reason we're gonna be using microfiber is it holds 10 times more dust and dirt than a cotton cloth per square inch. So you're getting more bang for your buck from a microfiber is what we're trying to say, Poppets. And what we're gonna do is, this is wet here. I've actually um, put a load of my um, pledge furniture polish on it to dampen it because as we said earlier, using a damp cloth draws in the dust and clings to it. Using a dry one, you literally are just spreading the dust around. We don't advise dry dust in here on the Haley's Help channel. And literally all we need to do is get the cloth and you've got two options here. You can either hold it like this, so you've kind of got the corner bit and you can then drag it along that way or you can go ahead and um, become, you know, like a puppeteer and put your finger around it like this and do a nice sweep across she's going to remove the dust. Now, the same principle applies for the tops of the doors. I've spoken to you guys about this before. I do like to, when I'm doing my clean, go around with my vacuum and use the dust attachment. And I always do the tops of my doors and these bits here as well gather lots of dust. But if you don't want to do that, you can, again, use this cloth method where you literally just sweep along the top of each door and that will remove any dust that's been sitting up there. 
I hope you guys found this dust, do's and don'ts vlog really helpful. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. Drop me a comment below and let me know which one of the routines you liked the best and which one you will be incorporating into your cleaning routine to dismiss the dust. I'll see you all again next time. Your name, your name.